Welcome. I'm here at the 104th Grey Cup Festival, standing here with the two members of the Mudmen. I want you to do right now to introduce yourself. I'm Robbie Campbell, one of the founding members, Bagpiper. I'm Sandy Campbell and a Bagpiper as well. I was listening to your stories just before when you having a conversation. Not only are you tied in with the, the CFL, uh, East Coast expansion, hopefully it'll be coming soon, schooners, but you also have a history with the NHL. What I want you to do is I want each of you to talk a little bit about, you know, the memories that you have for the CFL over the years. Well, we've, this is our sixth uh, Grey Cup party, so um, we've had a lot of fun. Uh, we played for the schooners every year. We're going to get a team soon. It's our third time in Toronto. We did Calgary, Winnipeg, Regina as well. And uh, so it's, it's always a big party. It's a good time. I'll let Rob follow up with his. I always said the CFL is always, it's, it's a lot of fun in that. In Winnipeg, we had to, uh, had to come in early to put the drums on, the, on and off the stage. And uh, we got to meet Pinball. So he was great. And he knew, he knew of our past and with the hockey uh, night in Canada anthem and stuff like that. And there was a couple funny stories that he, uh, he he was uh, speaking at our mom's church, and he remembered that in small town Ontario. And he was a really funny guy, and you know he gave us lots of time. I got to wear the ring; it's on Facebook there somewhere. And so you know, he was a real deal. His handlers are pulling him because he was the talk of the town. They want him here and there, and, and you know he's just a great ambassador for Canadian football. Even though I think he was, I think he was born in the states, but yeah. I'm not sure about that. You know, what I want you to do real quick is, is share your you know stories in regards to the NHL. I know it involved Wayne Gretzky. Don Cherry and, and so many others. Um, well, NHL has been very, very good to us. Um, we got to do the new Hockey Night in Canada theme song in, um, geez, about uh, 10 years ago or so, maybe 2008 or 9, and we were on that for seven years. During the making of that um, new anthem, Ron McLean said, Mud Men, we love them. So that was pretty fantastic. The Edmonton Oilers have been uh, amazing to us as well, too. We uh, got to do the 2009 home opener. And um, we did the 84 reunion. We've got uh, video footage of Wayne Gretzky setting the Stanley Cup down between the two of us. And Wayne Gretzky was such a nice guy. He gave us um, 45 minutes of his time backstage. He was awesome. We talked about a lot of mutual friends and things like that. Good old John Allen Cameron, who's passed away, East Coast guy. And um, I'll let Rob follow it up with some more. Well, we said over the years is great, you know, growing up in uh, small town Ontario, we didn't have much by way of uh, TV channels, and so you grew up with hockey and wrestling, and it's kind of cool when some of your uh, childhood heroes, you get to work or meet them, and, you know, Don Cherry was amazing. We've been on his Rock'em Sock'ems, and, you know, he's uh, he's always been good to helping bands out, and uh, we said, you know, so over the years, you know, it's been uh, it's been an honor to be associated uh, with some of these teams that uh, Ottawa Senators used to play our music and uh, Edmonton Oilers, of course. And then even a few years ago, there's a buddy of ours that works for the Blue Jackets. And he was playing some of our music at the uh, Penguins uh, Blue Jackets game in the playoffs. So that was nice to hear some of the, some of the old stuff we played again that you forgot you even did. And uh, it's a lot of good memories. I got some more stuff on hockey. I just didn't want to take it all from my brother, you know. I got to leave some, you get to go first. Ron McLean has been the greatest individual probably ever to us. Um, by him saying mud men, we love them. When we were playing the big 84 reunion, we were talking too much and he had to get pulled away. He gave us his $280 per diem, said, here boys, go have a good time. And Ron is just fantastic, one of the greatest Canadians ever. And of course, again, like uh, Rob said, Don Cherry's been extremely good to us. And um, you know, uh, Ty Domi's had us up in his box. We got to play the Leaf Boston game back in the day. And uh, Glenn Healy, of course, is a friend of ours. And so we, we've got some good party stories with Glenn there, uh, out there with the pipe bands and stuff too. And so we've got, through hockey, we've got to meet Cam Neely and, and Corson and Tucker were great to us. And uh, uh, yeah, hockey's been extremely good to us. Even with the Walk of Fames, we, we used to play the Walk of Fames in Toronto here and we got to pipe in uh, Bobby Orr and, and uh, Gordy House. We got to meet pretty much the top three of all time. And uh, so they're all good guys and they give you lots of time. And the Rocket, yeah, we met him too and piped him in. So we said, sometimes over the years when people get talking to you, you forget your whole list of accomplishments that, uh, you know, something will spark up and say, yeah, we did that. That was good, yeah. You guys and got a documentary coming up too? We're working on it. It's like it's a slow, uh, it's a slow work because you gotta, 
you got to pay the bills and play the shows and book the shows and drive to the shows and meet the fans and all the fun stuff. We're working on a book and we got our 20th anniversary coming around the corner and new CD out this fall. So it's uh, there's never a dull moment in Mudville. You get uh, quickly your website so that way people can go check it out. You have any updates when your documentary is going to be released, when your book's going to be released, and also when your shows are coming to people's towns. Yeah, our website is uh, mudmen.ca. So and we are the Mud Men, and uh, we're going to start with the book first. And again, Ron McLean says he'll write the foreword for us, and uh, it should be pretty interesting because uh, I think people are starting to realize now how hard it is to make it in this business. So we have some fantastic stories of uh, one time we were playing a Walk of Fame ceremony, and on the card was Eugene Levy, Martin Short, William Shatner, Gordon Lightfoot, the Guess Who, Paul Schaefer, and Gordy Howe, all in one night. One of the stars came in and they were upset because they didn't have a shower in the room. And I said to Rob, well, we got a shower in our room, but, but not at home. We had to shower at the gym for a year and a half because we had to live in a factory. We got kind of ripped off by a little producer. We'll tell that story for sure. And uh, they recognized us at the gym and everything because we're showering at the gym. And meanwhile, we're doing this high profile stuff. And uh, we were pretty down and out, but nobody knew the truth. And we managed to survive through the uh, hard times and uh, we've been the lowest of the low, and we've shook hands with the queen. So that's pretty good. Well, thank you both for your time. You guys are amazing individuals. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks a lot.